Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be taking a look at a requested idea, which is we're going to figure out what exactly is really going on with this scam. Now, most of you have probably seen this scam at least once. I've seen it a few ways. I've seen it on X under replies. A bot will quote another account that will then proceed to link to these kind of videos. I've seen it on the homepage of YouTube, both in recommendations and paid ads. So clearly they're putting quite a bit of effort into spreading this scam around. And how does it work? Well, pretty much since ChatGPT came out, this has been a thing. And there's been all sorts of discussion of, well, can you make a profitable trading algorithm using ChatGPT? The answer depends on your definition of using ChatGPT. You could plausibly maybe get it to write the implementation, but that's not what these guys are doing. What these guys are doing is they claim that they have a bot written entirely by ChatGPT that's going to make you thousands of dollars in Ethereum a day with a small investment. Now, anyone with a brain can tell you that's a scam, but how does it work? Well, first of all, let's look at the explanation, and I'll point out where the holes in this explanation are. $1,000 in ethers for uni tokens, with the current price of uni being $10 per token during the trade. Therefore, by performing a basic calculation, it can we be- can just go through the graphic. Now, there's an obvious problem that people not in crypto might not understand, because in other financial transactions, theoretically this could work. I mean, the main problem is that's not how Uniswap works, it's not a limit order book. Uh, the way Uniswap works, the price is determined by transactions, but the profit from the spread uh, goes to liquidity pools. It's not so that this just doesn't work, at least not in the way it's described. Uh, it's also not really front running because by the time the transaction has been broadcast, uh, it would be, and that, that's just not quite right. There's, but you, you could see how this would sound insane. So just on a thousand dollar transaction, you're making a hundred dollar profit. Which, of course, would also mean, given this is zero sum, that Jack is losing $100 every time he trades his Ethereum, which also wouldn't be very appealing. So, that's the idea. So how do we get in on this front running? Well, luckily, uh, this guy who's probably a paid actor, let's see if he's got any other videos. No, he doesn't. He's got one video with 39,000 views, and he's got 14,000 subscribers. His at doesn't match his name claims he's a developer let's just search for his no there's just a reddit about a scam and there's even some discussion oh that's actually interesting i was assuming the scam was in the smart contract okay this is actually cleverer than i thought because i did briefly look at the smart contract because a few people have asked me to investigate and this smart contract actually not that i'm to be clear or I, I, I've done stuff in crypto before, but I've never, I've never done smart contracts, so I don't know that much about them. But to me, this didn't look malicious. These GitHub links go to where you'd expect. But, of course, this is the real remix. So they, oh, then they must have changed it. This is remix.ethereum.org. Okay, well, let's, let's see. Let's also check if, okay, and that domain is completely gone. So whatever they were doing with that has been swapped out. Now it's warning us about the risks of pasting code into the editor, good. Now Solidity to my understanding is just JavaScript. Wait a second, what? I, I don't think that's quite, that, that doesn't look quite right to me. Token, and there's these weird mempool functions that don't, uh, behave like my understanding because I, I don't I don't even know I, the only thing I can think is this is some sort of they're, they're trying to make it they're just kind of taking words that are vaguely related to ethereum now of course in proper fashion to fight fire with fire the only way we can verify the legitimacy of our chat gpt trading strategy is to ask ChatGPT about it. So I simply pasted in the document, knowing roughly where the scam was, and let's see what ChatGPT has to say. So, we can scroll down. Uh, one other thing I just noticed while I was re-looking at this, these are the same, which would mean that it, you, you, you're not able to make a trade with only one token. You, you'd need something to exchange it to. So there's another problem with this design. So, I used the new strawberry thinking model, and it told me the Solidity code you provided defines a smart contract named Uniswap bot. 
At first glance, it does look like a liquidity checking, but it actually is malicious. Contract sets the owner, obfuscated functions, get mempool offset, get mempool length, fetch mempool, uh, and all of these. Return hard-coded numerical values or strings that don't have a purpose. These are used in an unusual way that doesn't align with standard Ethereum development practices. The token symbols function assembles a string by concatenating those functions, and the start exploration parses it into an Ethereum address. And then they proceed to transfer all of your money to this address. Potential malicious behavior, hidden recipient address, unauthorized ether transfer, and misleading function names. Now, what's interesting is while ChatGPT is actually really good for reverse engineering, what it it, it has this fence sitting aspect where the word potential does not belong here. Uh, there is no reason to hide an Ethereum address in a bunch of bogus names. But if we put them together, boom, that's how we get the Ethereum address. Now, of course, you could do this some other ways, but there we go. Of course, uh, if you put the pieces of this string together, uh, you, you get something rather interesting. Let's go take a look. Oh, interesting. So the way this works in this latest version, which seems to have been edited since this video was posted, because in the previous version, they had a legit contract going to a fake IDE, but the way this one works is straightforward. When you go to withdraw, it simply gets this address. I don't know why this is duplicated, but ultimately our to address is the same mem bogus mempool addresses that are simply concatenated and then you get this Ethereum address, which has seemingly collected over $11,000. Now, whether many of these are real or not, uh, the recent ones could very well be, but it seems like... When was this YouTube video posted? A month ago. Oh. 23rd of July. And, oh, all of these came afterwards, so this could very well be legitimate that they've gotten this many victims. Now, we can't rely on the first one being the same guy, because unlike a Bitcoin doubler scam, where there might be some sort of social proof reason to send your own address money, in this case, uh, th this address is obfuscated, so there would be no reason. Now, let's try googling this address to see if anyone else has... No. No, it, it doesn't seem like anyone has deciphered this address or reported losing money to it, but that's quite quite a substantial balance. Given the money hasn't ever moved out of here, there isn't going to be a ton we can do in terms of chain analysis, but we can attempt to take a look at whether any of these addresses look like shill addresses. Now this one looks a bit different, because this one had quite a few uh, transactions in it that look distinct. Let's see what the other ones and this one also did, while well, the ones before it uh, all looked about the same. So up, optimistically, we, we could say that about two Ethereum, uh, or about six grand, was stolen, and the rest could be for some other purpose. But I, I, I doubt that, just given that th the way that this scam works. And there we go. So that's going to be all for this video. Uh, it's not terribly complicated how this works, and it, there are inevitably going to be millions of variants that'll all work a bit differently. Core idea is, if you see an ad for a free money machine, it's probably a scam. It's not really possible, and there, there's just no, it just defies logic. Don't, don't, don't fall for these kind of scams. That's all for me for now. Bye.